Uh, 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 uh. Woo! Yeah, man. Sorry I'm late. My dog was out chasing a fox. Had my little flashlight. <laughs> this light right here, bright as hell. No, that's too dark. Let me just move it over. So my dog uh, went out to pee, saw a fox, so I had to chase her through the woods because uh, she went a little crazy. But she's back safe. She's back in the house. She's not bleeding. She's fine. She's tired. Uh, but hopefully the fox outran her. Because <laughs> uh, if not, I'll be finding a dead fox in the morning. Uh, but I I said I talk about behavior. And uh, this is no shot at any uh, LGBT community because I'm watching behavior. And uh, LGBTQ, the rest of it, I don't know, no disrespect. You guys are human beings and we have rules, we have respect and what's not respect. Uh, Jason, brother, we're both now in the media. You spoke on me. I would like the respect to be able to speak on you and just ask a question. Um, because I talk about behavior, I want to play a clip and I want to see if this behavior is appropriate and does it have a through line? Uh, could a different color, a different race, or a different sex, a man say what this gentleman is saying? Or no disrespect, whatever you identify with. Scientifically, you're a man. Uh, but I don't know what your pronoun is, so I'm not trying to offend you. Uh, but we need to see about this behavior and see if this is okay to have this behavior just because uh, you're a part of a, a group or a community. So I'll let you, I'll let you guys be the judge. Uh, hold on. I don't think this is appropriate. I think if uh, a man was to reach out to a beautiful woman, uh, imagine if I go to Meg the Stallion or one of these beautiful women and say, ooh, you got a fat such and such. And I lick out my tongue at him and I make these type of passes that aggressive and that toxic. So let's see what you guys think. Could I do this to a woman? If so, I might want to start. If not, some people might want to stop. Hypothetically, of course. As uh, far as I know, uh, Safari is a heterosexual man. As far as I know, he's married or was married, but he's never said he was gay. Uh, so I just want to know if this is appropriate. Oh, Hello. Fair use. Uh, shout out to uh, Mel, the lipstick diva. Let me put it down low in the corner. Hopefully I can use this video for educational purposes. Thank you. Shout out to you. Hey, you're so sexy. Are you like fucking Yeah, what's up? Yes. All right, Safari, this is the deal. Like, we love it. Hold you're on. You're sexy and you have a big. Hold on, what's going on? Hold on. Oh, oh, my phone is ringing to cut off. Hold oh, that's the wrong one. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get that one out of the way. Hold up, hold up, big spoiler. up. I don't know what it's doing. All right. I got to get the other one back up I just had. It was playing two of them at the same time. Uh, here we go. Can you hear me? All right. Yes. All right. So let's see if we can get it for educational purposes only. 
Shout out to Mel the Lipstick Diva. Hey, you're so sexy. Are you like fucking Yo, what's up? Yes. All right, Safari. Hold on, it's not screen like, sharing. What is it doing? You're sexy and you have a big do, do you guys see it on the screen? Is it screen sharing? Hold on, I don't see it on my screen. Let me try this again. Uh, it should have been sharing. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see if I can rewind it. Oh, yes. All right. you're so sexy. Are you like? Yeah, what's up? Yes. All right, Safari, this is the deal. Like, we love you. You're sexy, and you have a big. Hold on. My phone was ringing to cut off. Hold on. Hold on. I, 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 I'm listening to you, Professor. Can you hear me now, guys? Yeah, I hear you. You're sexy, and it's always love. So, is that appropriate, guys? Is that appropriate behavior? He's going to say it again. Yeah, I hear you. You're sexy and you have a big. Yo, what? Yo, listen. Yo, Jason. <laughs> we, we, here to, we here to celebrate the black culture. Oh, I'm out of here. This guy. Yo, yo Jason, nigga, bro. You're, you're sick in your head. Looks like he's falling asleep, high or drunk. Come on up to the stand here, Jason Lee. Come on up, Rip. All right, I got one more video for you. Um, I'm only saying uh, he, because I don't know whatever his pronoun is. He is signed scientifically. Uh, he's a he. Nobody can fight that. If he tells me or whatever he wants to identify as, I can respect that. But scientifically, uh, I don't think I'm wrong. Um, but I'm focused on the behavior. And I don't think that behavior is appropriate. If I was to look at a lady or a woman that I'm trying to deal with or date or whatever, I don't think I can lick my tongue out at her and talk about the size of her genitalia. We got to be careful what we are allowing to happen. Now, uh, I didn't disrespect the brother or anyone. This is for educational purposes. This is another video that I would like to get to. This is another YouTuber. Uh, YouTuber is named Bobby B Cat. Shout out to you. I would like to use your video for educational purposes to see if this behavior is okay. Subscribe. Period. I can call you a bitch if I think you're a bitch and I think you're a bitch, bitch. Your mammy's a bitch. Your little baby's a little bitch. Your baby daddy's a baby daddy, baby daddy bitch. Calm down, kitty. Calm down. I said it. And your pussy with its big old meaty claws is a meaty claw, pussy bitch. I knew you was a wine All right, let's hear that one more time. Tell me if this behavior is appropriate. Period. I can call you a bitch if I think you're a bitch, and I think you're a bitch, bitch. 
Your mammy's a bitch. Your little baby's a little bitch. Your baby daddy's a baby ba baby daddy bitch. Calm down, kitty. Calm down. I said it. And your pussy with its big old meaty claws is a meaty claw, pussy bitch. I knew you was a wino, but you had to be a drunk bitch coming for another drunk bitch. Yes, I was drunk. <laughs> I don't need more light on me. Thank you. Let that light shine on me. This is why you stomp a roach all the way to the ground. You don't let a roach live. I have not said this hoe's name on my show. Put up the picture of uh, Snaggle Rock. Mm. What? This is who I've been referring to the whole goddamn time. Put the bitch real picture up. Tell me that ain't you. I knew what the fuck you look like when I started this motherfucking show. Bitch, this is a cute picture of you. And if your kid would have came out looking half as decent as this green bitch, I wouldn't be talking about that little ugly motherfucker either. Yeah, you got an ugly ass little fucking kid in your crackhead looking ass baby daddy, allegedly. Hold on. Allegedly. Because he got to be smoking some crack to be fucking your ass, bitch. Put her picture back up. What the fuck you sleeping with every goddamn day? I would roll over and push this bitch right off the goddamn bunk bed, ugly ass bitch. Next time you open your mouth to talk about my motherfucking son, I'm going to need you to compare. Bitch, my son ain't gonna never live in no goddamn shelters. He ain't gonna have to guess how much sperm was in me to figure out who my fucking possible daddy is. So you don't motherfucking ass soft now, bitch. I done seen gay niggas harder than you. The fuck? I done seen trans niggas harder than you. What the fuck? I will see your motherfucking ass, okay? Private, bitch. Private, okay? I'm not desperate like you, because I'm tricking to little boys. Cause you know won't no old nigga fuck you or lick your ass. I would lick your ass too. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even fucking smell that shit. Wouldn't buy it either. Motherfucker, you could you could get naked in front of a bitch right now. Everything goddamn dropped. They wouldn't touch you even if you probably paid. Fucking reject fucking you. And you mad because it's your man. Rest her soul. She fucked you up like that. That's why you don't like a bitch that look like me. Thought that bitch, the only thing she gave you was privilege? Look what you done got. Look what you done got. Heard you got that. Let me stop. Let me stop. Because I heard, allegedly, he already had that motherfucking package. You guess, is it Amazon, bitch? Is it, is it UPS, bitch? What package is it? So, I don't want to get into... <laughs> bashing the brother or whatever about a package or anything like that we don't know anything about uh clearly uh tasha k was upset for the things that was said about her and her family um but is that the behavior that we want because boy y'all women taking a hell of a hit if now men can turn in biological men can turn into women and then now talk to you like that? Can say they're going to push you out of the bed? If I talk to a woman like that, would it be okay? So only certain people can talk a certain way. Only a certain people can act a certain way. Only a certain people can dress a certain way. Only a certain people can have their clothes off. Only a certain people can defy all the rules. This man literally sexually assaulted or sexually harassed Sh uh, Sharif or Safari. If that was a female on the phone and I did that to her, I could literally have a charge against me. If I'm wrong about what I'm saying, attack what I'm saying. Don't attack me. Don't use the excuse of you're talking about a group. Let's talk behavior. Is that behavior just because you identify with a group? Is that behavior, those words, what we want in society? See, that's why I curse for shock value on YouTube. See, they pay rappers to curse. They pay uh, movie stars to act out sexual deviant behavior. 
but they ain't paying me a damn thing, but they want me to be quiet about cursing. Do they really care? If this man can say this to this woman just because he enjoyed the group, why? Is somebody secretly trying to be better than women? Let's see. If a man uh, gets into an argument with his woman and they get into a domestic violence situation, uh, I think the punishment is two or three days in jail and then the man is out and everybody's okay. If a man get into an argument or a fight with somebody from a certain community, they can get 15 years, even if they didn't instigate it. We got to be careful and start watching behavior. They're bending the rules to find the odds right in front of our face. If they can do what we can't do, that's not equality. I could not talk to Miss Tasha K like that. Shout out to you, Miss Tasha K. There is no way that if I spoke to Miss Tasha K like that, there wouldn't be every group, every woman, every person attacking me before the morning. Why is it okay for him to talk to her like that? Well, then if it's not okay, a lot of people saying it's not. If it's not okay, what are we going to do about it? If I would have spoke like that, I'd be canceled. So, although I don't really agree with this whole cancel culture thing, because that may very well be his opinion of Miss Tasha K. But I want to know why do certain people get to say certain things and certain people don't? If a man felt that way, if a heterosexual, knowingly, openly heterosexual male felt the exact same way as Jason, let's just say Jason has a right to say this stuff, right? Okay. But if a heterosexual man said, you know what? I feel like this too today and wake up and say the exact same thing, what would be the outcome? Would it be the same or would it be different? I'm just asking. This is a question. I know everybody want to attack everybody for everything. I haven't disrespected anyone. I'm just pointing out the difference in behavior. And I'm pointing out if there's a difference, if. So that, that absolved me from any responsibility of a fact. If my opinion, I think maybe it looks like the behavior is different. And it looks like it's okay when you're with a certain group. It's what it looks like. I think maybe I snap. You want me to point out Tasha K's wrongdoing? Uh, I mean, in a video, when you talk about my son, when you call my son and my husband ugly, it means you're talking about my family. This is personal. So I don't never get mad at somebody for saying something back after you start saying stuff like that. You call someone's baby ugly, that's their lineage. You call their husband ugly, that's their family. Like, what? I mean, it's an opinion that you can have, a very bad opinion that doesn't need to be voiced. But if you so choose to voice it, can't control that other person's response to that i would i would expect a rude response <laughs> if you start talking like that so she he got what the response that i thought was warranted but all i'm talking about is 
is there a difference in behavior when you go group to group? Could a heterosexual man have the same opinion as Jason and say it without no issue, just like Jason is not going to have an issue? Otherwise, I think there's no such thing as equality. Otherwise, I think there's no such thing as all inclusive. I'm starting to think that we're joining groups and this is a powerful group, which is the LGBT, which everybody's afraid to speak of, even if they're doing it politely. You can't even say your opinion. And I think that's bullshit. If you attack me, you're just going to expose yourself. Because I didn't say anything disrespectful. But I would like for someone to answer these questions. You guys have a blessed night. I'm tired. I've been out there chasing my dog that was chasing foxes. <laughs> so I'm going to go to sleep. But I would like to hear a response to this because those two videos were atrocious, in my opinion. And I don't think there's no through line in the behavior. I don't think every group of people can talk like that to a woman, especially not a black woman. So we got some explaining to do. And we got some house cleaning to do as far as cleaning up behavior. No one should be able to behave like that. We always talking about toxic masculinity and when it's time to fight and all this stuff. But a man shouldn't have to be aggressed upon by another man like that, where you're licking your tongue out and talking about the size of his penis. That, that's that's not right. It's not right. Ladies, you guys need to step up. You guys would not allow a man to just hit you on FaceTime and do that. Unless you were already having sex with this man, unless y'all already had a relationship like that. I don't think any man should talk to a woman like that and vice versa. So you guys be the judge. This was not me passing any judgment. This was me using two videos for educational purposes, asking a simple question that you could give a simple answer. If there's no difference, then the answer is no. I would like you to have a no why column. If it's no, why is it no? If it's yes, why is it yes? Because my column is it's yes. And this thing is starting to get out of control. And uh, black women are starting to be dead last, in my opinion. There's going to be men starting to take over everything that identify as women. But I'll leave you with that. You guys have a good day or good night and have a blessed morning because I'm out. It's bedtime.